Hi, and welcome to Treatment Thursday. We're here today to show you how to do a lip renewal while you're at home. Hopefully you're all doing well during this COVID time. Leslie has volunteered here. Again, we reiterate, we're taking all precautions for the COVID and uh, we, have, uh, we feel comfortable this distance um, because we work together and we've had our masks on, but for this demonstration, we are just gonna go ahead and proceed. So enjoy. Leslie, are you ready? I'm ready. Okay, so lip renewal. Why would we do lip renewal? Really, because of vertical lines and lip lines, fine lines and lip on your lip. Now, Leslie is concerned about her lips and her vertical lines, which I'll demonstrate to you are the lines that show around the actual your uh, lip line there, and the lips themselves actually get wrinkles. And that, you know, is just a sun damage, using straws, sipping out of uh, cups that have that you have to purse your lips. So we're going to uh, start doing a lip renewal for her, and we'll see her back in two to three weeks to see how she's doing after the demonstration. So if it's okay, we're gonna how what are the steps? Let me tell you the steps. We're gonna wash her lips, and then we're gonna apply all the products that are very simple to do. It should just take all of about a minute, but it's a little longer in this video. Okay, so we use our exfoliant, uh, daily exfoliant. I'm going to take off your lipstick and any any makeup around the area of your lip. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, just smile for me. There we go. Close your lips. Okay, push your lips. There you go. So these are the areas that we are going to work on now. So once we have cleansed her area with our exfoliant cleanser, because we need a little bit of that scrub. She really didn't have any makeup on. And then I'm just going to pat dry the area. So now she has no makeup. Okay, so our first step is going to be, we're gonna use our Hyaluronic Boost. We're gonna use this in circular motions around her lips. I will be applying it with my fingertip of my glove. This is to give her moisture, but also to plump her lips. So we're talking now just of your lips, not the vertical lines yet. That will come at the end of the video. Now you can massage those in your lips. Just move your lips a little bit, and I'll clean up that area. And just keep moving your lips in and out. There you go. Perfect. So your Hyaluronic Boost, which is, uh, we've heard in our other videos, that's for collagen reproduction, but also plumping of the skin. So we are going to plump the lips at the same time. How does that feel? That's good. Okay. So it doesn't what, taste bad either. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Um, I'm not saying to taste it. I'm just saying if you do taste, it's not bad. It's not toxic by any means. Okay. So we're going to let her work that into her lips. There you go. Okay, perfect. Now, after that has been worked into her lips and kind of dried into her lips, which it is, if Michaela will zoom in on that, we'll see that it's dried, her lips are dry. We're going to go ahead and use our Silk Balm. I'm using testers for this demonstration, but our Silk Balm is another moisturizer. And this again, will give moisture to the lips that are dry. Even if you put on uh, lip gloss and lipstick, your, your lips tend to get dry and you develop fine lines and wrinkles due to the sun exposure. Very a little bit onto her lower lip and let her massage that in. There you go. And that's our Silk Balm Moisturizer. Very soothing. Do you, do you feel anything at all on this? No, not really. Just, no. Just soothing. So as the moisturizer and the hydrolonic boost are being absorbed into her lip, I'm going to customize her vertical lines around her upper and lower lip. And what we use for that, and it, this is what we call a filler in a bottle, is our Exilinia polypeptide. Because in time, when you purse your lips, you lose that muscle around the actual lips, the uh, vermilion border, which is the top part of the lip, or the lower vermilion border, and you develop these creases. Some women notice that they have lipstick that bleeds into those creases, and those are those lines that are beginning to start. We call them vertical lines. Uh, if you're a smoker, you know what I'm talking about. If you're a purse breather, do this, you know what I'm talking about. If you sip a lot of the straw, you'll see that muscle. It's a very strong muscle, but we use it quite a bit. So what I'm going to do is apply this to her vertical lines around her upper and lower lip. 
Now, it takes time. This does not happen overnight. You'll need to use this. It's just a spot treatment to the vertical lines. And you will see within four to six weeks, those lines disappear to a minimum. Nothing ever goes 100% away. You will just be less noticeable when you're putting on your makeup or you're applying your lipstick. The lipstick won't bleed into the actual lines. So let me do that now. Where can you use the X-Linea? Well, for here, for this demonstration, we're using it, as I've said, on the lips. But you can use this to your brow. You can use this, I'm going to put a little bit down on her chin here. You can use this to the side. Um, it smells good. Are you doing okay? Mm -hmm. So I am kind of using her whole vertical lines, the labial lines, the marionette lines here. Not that she has them, but I'm going to take advantage of this time now that I have her in my chair, and I'm going to give her the treatment here. Where else could you use the x -linea? You can use it up on your frontalis, which would be the brow, the glabella area. Everyone calls that as the number 11. But this is what we call filler in a bottle. And PCA is the only company that has this filler in a bottle. I use a lot of this treatment when people come in and get their Xeomin injections. And it makes the injections last much longer, over a year, if they use the actual product. Thin, it goes on nicely and evenly. I'm just massaging it in. I don't believe you're feeling anything, are you, mm -hmm. Leslie? No. And there you have it. So now we've customized her vertical lines, um, the marionette lines, anywhere in her lower part of her jaw area. Okay. Moving right along. So what are we going to do now? So our big product today that we really want you to be aware of a PCA is, yes, great lip renewal is very nice and lovely, but the big thing I'm really wanting people to know about, especially women that apply a lot of lip glosses to their lips and plumping lip, lipsticks or lip glosses, is our Hyaluronic Acid Lip Booster. So it is the same elements of what we do for collagen production, but now we are going to plump your lips naturally. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, we had a little bit of a sneeze there. We've done our COVID questionnaire, and she's definitely a low risk. Okay, so uh, again, I'm going to apply the Hyaluronic Lip Booster to her lips now. When you apply this, tell us what you feel. All of her moisturizer now has been absorbed, and I am just applying this to her upper and lower lip. And we will have before and after pictures of how this actually works. Now, you will massage those together, your lips together. There you go. I'll just put a little bit on the extra line here. Okay. Does it tingle? Do you feel anything? Or are you... Mm -mm. I don't know, Kayla, can you zoom in? Because you can start to see the lip plumping just a little bit. So Leslie feels absolutely nothing, but we can see her lower lip and upper lip. You can see if you get close in there, she actually has some plumping going on. So that is the uh, Hyaluronic Acid Lip Booster. Now, uh, recommended that you apply this one in the morning, and we have our Peptide Lip Booster in the evening. Either or will work. I personally like this because everyone wants that plumping effect of their lips, and you don't have to be injected. So um, you would do this twice a week if you could, and you'd notice a noticeable difference within two weeks of your lips, lip lines, and uh, vertical lines. And that is all we have today on our Treatment Thursday. Have a great day.